It's time for Windows Recall, and we didn't know the time of the 9000X 3D, and we know time is coming for AMD and Microsoft to fix the Ryzen issue. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Friday, August 23rd, 2024. We're going to start off today talking about the recall feature is supposed to be coming out to Windows Insiders sometime in the next two months. Microsoft saying that now it's essentially ready for people to be testing in about 60 days or so. You might remember Windows Recall is that feature that scans everything you do on your PC takes constant screenshots, wanted to store everything in plain text, not secure any of it, and make it so that it was instantly searchable with Windows AI. Everybody kind of revolted at the idea, and Microsoft said, oh, we should probably fix a lot of the security issues, and they're saying that its security continues to be their top priority, and it'll be available in October, and they'll publish a blog with more details for Windows Recall in case you want to use it. Likely will only be available on the Snapdragon X Plus and X Elite chips. It's actually kind of hilarious that it got delayed, but if you go to like a Best Buy where they're talking about these Copilot Plus PCs, they have like physical marketing about Windows Recall and there's no way to show it off. There's not even gonna be a way to test it anytime soon. But YouTube's testing out a little chat bot in case your channel gets hacked. Instead of just you trying to figure out how do you get your channel back, there's a new AI assistant that will guide you through how to reclaim your channel, lock down your Google account and make it so that you can undo any of the nefarious actions that happened. Unfortunately, usually the way that these accounts get hacked is not Google's fault, really. It's just a browser hijack that makes it so that they intercept your login. And you would want them to do more to prevent it from happening. But at the same time, it's not clear uh, that there's a simple way to do that. But now they're providing an easy way for people to understand how to reclaim some of the stuff that might be lost. And I lost Reese. He was supposed to stream yesterday and he didn't. Yo, welcome back to UFD Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you guys had a good week. And let me send you off into the weekend right with some deals. Starting off with this Superflower Letix 850 watt 80 plus titanium fully modular power supply for only $119.99, making it $120 or 50% off. But then next we have this MSI 27 inch 4K 144 hertz gaming monitor going for $325.59 with the coupon applied, making it $74.40. Cents off. Do note there is a bit of a mix up with the listing. Some of the promotional images show the 32 inch model instead of the 27 inch, but the reviews seem to confirm that it is the 27 inch version. And then lastly, we have the Gigabyte Aorus Radeon RX 6900 XT Extreme Water Force graphics card back on sale for $379.99. It is a bit of a harder sell because you have the added difficulty of putting this in a fully water cooled system, but for the price, that card is phenomenal. And hey, with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I hand you off back to Brett for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Thank you, Reese, for saving me that money. I am going to put it aside until 9000 X 3D chips come out, which, according to the latest rumors, is going to allegedly be CES 2025. The only thing I really take exception with is like a lot of the articles and people are talking about how this is a delay, like this is later than we were expecting. You can even see here on video cards saying not as soon as expected and replies to this being unfortunately, yes, only CES 2025, which this would still make it like one of the fastest turnaround times for an X3D chip from the original launch. I personally actually don't expect the 9000 X3D chips to launch at CES 2025. I'm actually more anticipating that they're going to get announced with a future release date, kind of how the 7000 X3D chip did. Kind of been expecting a CES announcement this entire time, so I'm not uh, disappointed by this announcement at all. But I'm also not disappointed by the fact that it turns out the 8000G APUs that have come out might just be a rebrand from the 7000G. AMD deciding to go with the higher number instead of the lower number. This being found out because there are printed versions of the 7300 and 7500G that weren't actually released. It just kind of seemed to indicate that AMD's naming schemes is pure marketing. The 8000G is a bigger number. The Ryzen 9000 bigger number than Ryzen 8000. AMD 800 series chipset, you got the B850 instead of 7 750. They skipped that for some reason and then going from AI 100 to AI 300. We were supposed to originally get the AI 100 chips and now now we have something else. And Microsoft's got something else coming for the Ryzen 9000 series CPUs. There were reports coming out that Windows was potentially nerfing some of the performance for a lot of Ryzen chips. Zen 3 to Zen 5 appear to all be experiencing some sort of performance bug on Windows 11, especially if you're not under full administrator privileges. And so AMD put out a blog post discussing 
discussing why reviewers potentially didn't get as high of scores as AMD was seeing internally, and that with this latest update that should be coming out from Windows 11, the 23H2 version, you should get between three and 13% performance improvement in gaming. Them showing off in Far Cry 6, a 13% improvement. Cyberpunk 2077 was a 7% improvement. Hitman 3 was 3%, and then certain games like Watch Dogs Legion, there was no improvement as well as no change in the Cinebench 2024 score. So this is something that AMD is committed to. They're working with Microsoft on trying to get this fixed and potentially will make the Ryzen 9000 chips a little bit nicer for people to use moving forward. Let me know if this changes your opinion of Ryzen 9000. You getting some potentially faster numbers in these games due to a Windows bug. Does that make your opinion of these CPUs a little bit better? There are some channels who have been able to test this already, such as Level 1 Techs, Wendell already doing some investigation on that. I'm curious to hear what you think of the Ryzen 9000 getting improvements like that down below. And I'm going to review what you left down below yesterday over on Float Plane. We got Mark Spark saying, a new office, but I like the creepy basement vibe. Kryptonite saying, I bet the signs will still stay and it'll be a white wall in the background. Nope, you're all wrong. I don't know how it's going to work, but creepy basement and new sets incoming. Kyler, do I have to bring you to the new office? Who? You. Woo. Oh. He, think, he thinks I said I was bringing him. All right. And over on YouTube, we got Josh Farmpig saying, I love how bro's title is just 9000X3D, like nothing else. Just that, Lemma Fowl. x Rafter saying, best title. Probably they're going to change it later. We're not. We're not going to change it. Yesterday was a uh, rather slow news day. There wasn't a whole lot that I thought could go as like the headline title and thumbnail. So I just, instead of trying to sensationalize anything or make it uh, more than it was, that's what the, the main story was about yesterday 9000 x3d being accidentally also disclosed by asus on their website i think it was i think it was fitting all right it was simple when you're reporting on the news every day not all of them are going to be uh home runs here and they're robloxian x saying amd casually going to release a four core eight thread ryzen 3 9300 x3d for a hundred dollars and try to find some way to get out of the sh they're in with the zen 5 bringing us nothing um okay there's like multiple problems here with uh, what i detect your tone is obviously it's just text so a lot of the tone that's there is what i'm bringing to it so i'm just this is all my assumption about what you mean number one a 9300 x3d would be phenomenal are you kidding me that would be a banger i would love that such a great thing that would like be beneficial for tons of people are you are you freaking kidding me that's a great thing um they're not really in crap for zen 5 zen 5 does a lot of things well uh some of the problems are due to the fact that windows is is tricksy as well as like a, some of the problem is that a lot of the performance improvement that you're seeing is in certain workloads not in gaming i really don't think zen 5 is that big of a flop especially considering in the last two years inflation has uh gone astray gone awry and it's 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 peaked its ugly head in the amd coming out and dropping the prices while also releasing something that is technically faster especially in certain workloads i don't think they're in a lot of crap i think zen 5 um might be sensationalized to be pretty bad but on, on the whole i think it, i think it's a all right situation if you are on you know, Ryzen 1000, 2000 on the Intel 7 or 8000 series, the 7700K, 8700K, something like that. Zen 5 is a great upgrade for that. And I'm going to upgrade you to uh, uh, um, passive viewer, passive consumer of other people's content right now, because hot news is not going to be here tomorrow. It'll be back on Monday. More hottest tech news then. See you then.